our next speaker is Bill Swearingen. Bill Swearingen is a hacker from Kansas City. So the FCC won't let us speed. The problem with radar detectors, the problem is that they suck when it comes to, to detecting laser. When, when you get hit with, with a laser, all you're going to do is that just tells you that you're going to get a ticket. And, and most people probably feel like the, the cops are using laser anyway. Well, we'll slow down trigger because um, we've got some neat things to talk about. So the FCC doesn't even regulate the light spectrum. That's done by the FDA. Here's where it gets interesting. It turns out that in about two thirds of our country, um, laser jamming is perfectly legal. Let's attack the gun. Um, so what we can do is we can vary our own returns. Uh, so real quick, this is kind of what it looks like. A bill of materials, super simple. Um, we're looking at an ESP8266 and, and an LED array essentially and a 12 volt uh, circuit. Um, cost is eight bucks. Well, so what I'm going to release here is, is Nachikacha. Um, and so, so what Nachikacha is, is an ESP8266 based um, laser jammer. Um, it's based on 12 volt circuitry um, for easy auto, automotive installation. Um, and uh, it uses on the same nine, uh, 940, uh, well, it should be 904, but um, it, ha it implements brute force mode, meaning that it's pulsing at, at a one millisecond pulse rate. Um, that will bypass 80% of the laser jammers um, that are in use right now. Um, it will not jam the, the more advanced Dragon Eye um, systems that, that, uh, that, that implement countermeasures to brute force mode. So um, wireless connectivity, Android app. Um, it's legal in some states, right? Remember those green states? Oh, I forgot to mention, I don't know if you saw that, but on that, that uh, map where, where uh, laser jamming was legal, Colorado wasn't on there. And I'm like, come on, Colorado, I thought you were cool. Like, I just can't, I don't know. Um, it also can, la it can uh, emulate laser guns. So you can test uh, your, your own, uh, you, you can test it, you can, you can test your, uh, yeah, your radar detectors, et cetera. Um, so, so code's available now. It's kind of janky, but that's how it goes, DEF CON. Um, like, Nacho Kacha's freedom, um, and this, this is how we, we can take control of, of any systems that, that are targeting us. Our next speaker is Bill Swearingen. Bill Swearingen is a hacker from Kansas City. Um, so, so the FCC won't let us speed, um, you know, or let me be me. So l let's see um, what what other effective countermeasures uh, do are available to us. Um, and, and they're and they're the common things. They're the common things. But but the, if you have not used the radar detectors, the the, the current generation radar detectors, they're they're tremendous. So so earlier I I, I showed you how how that the 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 radio frequency uh, continues to scatter, right? It continues to go and it continues to bounce around. And the current generation um, of radar detectors are, are picking that up very, very good, about two miles and, and ways is, is really good. But the problem with radar detectors, the problem is that they suck when it comes to, to detecting laser, right? So you've probably heard that ra radar detectors today, um, when, when you get hit with, with a laser, all you're going to do is that just tells you that you're going to get a ticket. Right, um, and, and and most people probably feel like the, the cops are using laser anyway. Well, we'll slow down trigger because um, we've got some neat things to talk about. So the FCC doesn't even regulate the light spectrum. That's done by the FDA. So so let's hear it for light. Come on, light. And it also turns out that, that these laser guns, they're very different than their RF cousins. Um, they, they use an eye finder to, to single out a specific target. Okay, um, and if, if you take a look at the picture I have here, you'll, you'll notice that, that there's two lenses, one for one that's uh, the, the transmit, that's the smaller lens, um, and then one to receive, that's the larger, and that'll be important here in a second. Um, and what's really interesting and what, what I love about laser is the officer has to treat it like a weapon. Uh, it has to be, they have to be stable, they have to point, they have to single out a target, and they have to find a reflective surface on your car to get a signal back.
okay? Um, so generally speaking, what they're after is they're looking for those, for your headlights or your uh, license plate or those sweet, sweet, fancy, blingy grills, right? Um, and here's what an officer sees when they're targeting your car. What you can see in this video is you see an officer trying to, to get a lock on a car. Um, and then the second one, it's a little bit harder to see when, when they do, okay? Um, but because laser is regulated by the FDA, Lasers have to be a class one laser. That is the same uh, class as a laser pointer. Laser guns are laser pointers, okay? They have to be eye safe, which means that pretty much, uh, you know, the, the amount of reflected laser that's coming back to the police officer is very, very little. Okay. Also, um, because it's regulated by the FDA, they are restricted to the, the, uh, the actual frequency of laser that they can use. They have to use a, an eye safe laser um, and, and they, they have standardized on 904 nanometers. Uh, this is an invisible laser beam, um, but what's great about this is it's standard. There's one and it's very weak and we can buy them too. Now, Another thing, uh, what does radar measure? Well, laser does not measure speed. Laser measures distance. Okay, super important slide here. Um, I'm gonna give you guys time to write the equation down. Um, <laughs> Like if you, if, you know, if, if we have any math majors, you can, you know, kind of like tell people, you know, explain how this works. But speed is, is a, a, a result of distance over time. I saw somebody take a picture of that slide. <laughs> okay. Now, now the issue is that um, laser guns, uh, when, they, when they do measure distance, they're doing it at a rate that, that's, that's a, a very aggressive, usually around 100 to 200 measurements per second. Um, and so that really kind of goes back to, by the time your radar detector has gone off, um, the laser gun has already acquired your speed, um, and in fact, many times over, right? Um, and, and that's the calculation that the, 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 you know, the gun is using for distance. Um, but here's where it gets interesting. Okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, Whew. it turns out that in about two thirds of our country, um, represented by the green states that are super cool, um, laser jamming is perfectly legal. Um, the yellow states are not as cool and I just literally don't know what the fuck is going on in Virginia. So we have a couple options. Um, this is the one that I'm gonna go with. Um, it's not really effective, but it's hilarious and it makes it very hard for the police officer to get a lock on my car. Okay, or, or, or we can attack the gun. Let's attack the gun. All right, here we go. So first we have to know exactly how these laser guns work. Um, and before we get started, I, I'm gonna show you an example of timings, okay? So the timings that we're gonna talk about here will, will not be for every gun, but the frequency that we're using is. Um, and, and, what's, and what I wanna met, under, want you to understand is that once you understand how they work, you will understand how to attack every single one. It only comes down to a matter of timings, okay? So the things that are really important here um, are the pulse width, how long the laser is on, um, and the period cycle, which is how often it shoots. So in, in, in this demonstration, I show um, a, a pulse width, one, two, three, four, five, pulse, 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 pulse. Those are our pulse width, right? Um, and the period cycle of a five millisecond period cycle, okay? You'll understand here in a second. Okay, but this part gets really important. Okay, so when the, when the gun sends a series of pulses, what it's expecting is a return. Okay, and that return measures what? Does anybody remember? Booze. Booze. <laughs> distance, distance. The pulse measures distance, okay? So when your car gets hit by the first pulse, does that officer have a lock on your speed? No. No, no they only know how far away that car is. It's not until the second, third, Right, you know, until they can start, that gun can start getting a lock on on uh, on your speed, right? And so that's why why the why the uh, why, why they they measure so many times in, in one second, 100 to 100, you know, 100 to 100, 200 to get your speed. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and, and zoom into this pulse period and let's talk about some countermeasures. All right. So these red lines indicate pulses from the gun. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Okay, everybody good? All right. And, and, and it expects to get a return. Pulse, return. Okay. But we have a five millisecond window that we can return our own. Okay. And what does la laser measure? Distance. Okay. So it does not measure speed. Right? So if we were to return a pulse before the reflected one, we can tell them how far away we are. All right? So what I'm going to show you is a brute forcing method. So uh, just imagine driving around knowing exactly which frequency you're going to be lasered with. It's always the same 904, right? And every one millisecond, putting a pulse. Okay. So what, um, now the interesting thing is in, in your brain, I know where you're going because I went the same way as, well, if, if I turn, if I turn an, immediate re, an, an immediate response, am I telling the cop that I'm going 97 million miles an hour? No, no. What I'm telling them is that I'm very close, right? I'm 100 feet away. But then they get another one. He's 100 feet away. Then they get another one. He's 100 feet away. I'm going zero, right? Um, yeah. And so most of the guns, believe it or not, so there, there's probably, I don't know, nine or 10 different models of, of laser guns on the market. Uh, this method comes back with an error message. Just a simple brute force, one millisecond pulse will return an error message to the gun. Now, um, there are a few models uh, that, that have implemented countermeasures to countermeasures, um, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, so, so commercial, uh, so some of the, the, the newer guns, that what they will do is they will, they will recognize, I sent one pulse out and I got four back, right? So that's, that's not right. So they'll, they'll, they'll actually laser shift, right? like they'll shift their pulse width um, to, to account for that, to find an empty spot in, in, the, return, in the return signal. Um, but, but we can counter those too, right? So once we understand how the gun laser shifts, what its expected result, we can shift our, um, our uh, response to that just as easily. Now what's interesting is because of, of the, the pulse width and the timing, we can identify the gun by the second pulse. So when we get hit once and then we measure how long did it, you know, so then we move immediately into brute force mode, right? Um, then we receive another one. Now we can identify exactly which gun we're being targeted with and we can implement countermeasures from there. Um, and so I'll, I'll go th through those here real quickly. Um, so a countermeasure, so what you're seeing here on the screen, the red lines indicate a pulse from the, from the laser gun. Um, the, the, orange, uh, the orange indicates our reflection and the green is what we're returning to the gun. Um, so what we can do is we can vary our own returns. Right. So imagine if we if we understood that we have a five me, five millisecond window to return, uh, that the first time we, we return a very early signal, we're we're at 600 feet away, right? And then on that second pulse, we've identified who the gun is. We know that we know exactly which gun we're being targeted with, and we can move into we can move into countermeasures that, but we we then say that we're further away, uh, perhaps uh, you know a thousand feet away. Now to that gun, we're going in reverse, right? And then we can continue on with, with strategies like that, that, that continue to, to even bypass even the most laser guns. Um, and commercial laser jammers are already doing this. There, there's a couple, there, there is a couple different commercial uh, products that you, that you can purchase that are already, that are already implementing uh, these countermeasures. Um, and so I just wanna uh, let you know that those are available. Okay, so um, a, a few years ago, I released a, a, a tool called Kacha. It's an ESP-based uh, Wi-Fi hacking tool, um, and 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 you know, and, and basically, what what I've done is like, okay, let's let's build on that platform. Let's continue to stay with the ESP8266. Um, it's a build platform that that I'm very comfortable with. That uses the Arduino um, and the Arduino platform, um, and we can and and we can uh, build off of that. Well, so what I'm going to release here is, is Nachikacha. Um, and so, so what Nachikacha is, is an ESP8266 based um, laser jammer. Um, it's based on 12 volt circuitry um, for easy auto, automotive installation. 
Um, and uh, it uses on the same nine, uh, 940, uh, well, it should be 904, but um, it, ha it implements brute force mode, meaning that it's pulsing at, at a one millisecond pulse rate. Um, that will bypass 80% of the laser jammers um, that are in use right now. Um, it will not jam the, the more advanced Dragon Eye um, systems that, that, uh, that, that implement countermeasures to brute force mode. Um, however, um, you know, we're, we're doing this open source, right? And so um, because, because commercial, um, commercial jammers exist, um, it, should not be, it shouldn't be too difficult for us to reverse engineer um, the, the pulse cycles that, that those more, um, actually, I don't know if that's legal or not. Um, let's not do that. Let's build our own. Okay. Um, so um, wireless connectivity, Android app. Um, it's legal in some states, right? Remember those green states? Oh, I forgot to mention, I don't know if you saw that, but on that, that uh, map where, where uh, laser jamming was legal, Colorado wasn't on there. And I'm like, come on, Colorado, I thought you were cool. Like, I just can't. I don't know. Um, it also can la it can uh, emulate laser guns, so you can test uh, your your own. Uh, you, you can test it. You can you can test your uh, yeah your radar detectors, etc. Um, yeah, and and turns out MERT mode would work okay too, which would be uh, green lights, but that's a super bad idea, and probably probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, Okay, well, so I'm just going to tell you, like, not your conscious freedom, um, and this, this is how we, we can take control of, of any systems that, that are targeting us. Um, we, uh, hey, audio guy is going to get louder in a second, just FYI. Um, and I just want to say go America, um, except for Virginia, because I don't know what's going on there. Um, <laughs> Uh, so real quick, this is kind of what it looks like. A bill of materials, super simple. Um, we're looking at an ESP8266 and, and an LED array, essentially, and a 12-volt uh, circuit. Um, cost is eight bucks. Um, so, so code's available now. It's kind of janky, but that's how it goes, DEF CON. Um, and I actually meant to bring one. I, ha I have one here, um, but I broke it uh, yesterday when we were prepping for the talk. Um, I know, Bill, I know. Um, so seriously, I, you know, so it is being released open source. Uh, the brute force mode works. Um, I, I, because I, I tested it. I live in Kansas, it's legal there. Um, and. Um, and so, you know, really there's only round one. I'll continue to, to, to post code um, and I, I would really expect or I would really hope or and appreciate if anybody would like to, to help me build a, a, a fully open source uh, laser jammer that, that competes with, uh, with the commercial grade equipment. Um, so with that, guys, uh, thank you very much. I, I had a great time. I um, really appreciate it.